Hi guys, Dark Aperture here. Back with another 5 round dollar game PC. The difference with this one is that it'll be using AMD CPU G and GPU. And since it has an AMD CPU, it'll be using a motherboard based off of an AMD chipset. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Moving on to the parts list. <laughs> there we have it. What? Look at it and all and whatever. Just pause the video. Because I'm going on right now. First up, the CPU. AMD FX 4300 by Shara. It's a pretty good budget CPU. Right now, you might see the i3 being in benchmarks, but it's a quad core, and like the i3, which is a dual core. And with games taking advantage of the, qu the four cores on this CPU, the i3 will still find itself as a, at a tremendous disadvantage with newer games. I could have gone off the Phenom 2 965. But it's a little, but it's a little older. It's not exactly built for. It was built more for AM3, not AM3 Plus. So I'm, I might be sounding like an idiot right now, but so that means the Fam 2 probably won't be able to take as much advantage of the architecture. Come on, just admit it. I got it wrong. Whatever. It's only twenty dollars. It's good. Next up for the RAM, we'll grab four gigabytes of Course of Vengeance Studio 3600. 4 gigabytes is enough for gaming, and it's, this RAM is fast, it's nice looking, and finally, it's reliable. And you get all the, considering you get all this for $30, it's a really good deal. Next up is a motherboard that, should, that I probably should have used for the $700 build. This build, this is, I mean, we got the ASRock 960GM U3S3 FX, 990 FX, 990 FX. Hold on, I gotta check this. <coughs> Why did I say 990 effects? It's not 990 effects. It's 70G. It's 760G. God. But this, it has USB. It's got USB free. God, well, 990 effects for 65 dollars. Don't happen. Unless my words feel like it's gonna die in a day. It's got USB free and like the gigabyte board I chose for the seven dollar build. It's also 760G. And it's dual ch it's got dual channels. It won't have the dual BIOS, but it's also D but it doesn't really matter if you're if you know not to flash every thing that every BIOS that shows up in your face. Like, oh this is a BIOS. It's newer. Flash it. It's totally a good idea. Then then just blows up your system. Anyways, it's only sixty five dollars, so it's a very good deal. Next up, we got the graphics card. We'll be going with the new Asus Radeon Chi 7790. Now this card's got a pretty good price to performance ratio. And, and, it, and just because it says price to performance doesn't mean it doesn't have real performance. It's pretty fast too, considering the fact that it nearly equals the 650 Ti boost while consuming nearly half the power. It's a pretty good deal. Only $150, and it's got a it's this awesome Direct Curry 2 cooler. Next up, the next up, the hard drive. For the hard drive, we'll be going with the 500 gigabyte Caviar Blue. It's pretty much one of the be pretty much the best, if not one of the best hard drives around when you're on a budget. <laughs> Whatever. And 500 gigabytes is enough for your Steam games. <laughs> And it's only sixty dollars. I'd say it's a great deal. Next up, the power supply. For the power supply, we'll be going with the Corsair CX500 500 watt P power supply (PSU). I'll say, yeah, it's a PSU, everybody. What could a PSU mean? What could PSU mean? Oh, I don't know. It actually means power supply unit. Anyway, the fi it's enough for the build, and it's a very good quality. It's a, which it, which you should be expecting from Corsair. Considering the amazing price of $50, it's a very good deal. Next up, a new $20 DVD burner. It's good, it's enough. $20. Whoop de doo. Any $20 drive will work, but I picked this one just because. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna say, because YOLO again. Which I just did, that pretty much sums it up. For the case, we're going with the N60 Source 2 and 10. Unlike some of my other builds, this 
The 770 is also a very small card, so it can fit in this case without you having to remove the hard drive bay. And I'd really like my builds to not have you remove the hard drive bay, as that can make it a little more a little more frustrating for you to mount hard drives. Anyway, it's a very sturdy case. It's got quite a bit of room, and it's only forty dollars. Pretty good deal. In the end, the price is five hundred fifteen dollars, and I've already said it. Well, anyways, that's pretty much all I wrote because that's how dedicated I am. Because I put a lot of work into my end descriptions. See, look, I said hot. That takes work, you know. Anyway, subscribe to me, Dark Aperture, if you like this build. Build it. Build. You. I like to see you build it and show me how it performs in a vid in video response. First person to do it gets a free subscription and a like on ten of his video. Ten of his videos. Anyways, goodbye. Now for the filler. I'll say he's fit, so it works. Blah 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 blah. If I was just gonna stop it there, but apparently I didn't. Because I don't know. I just don't know. Mm. Okay, now I'm stopping.